Here we are with a 2000 Chevy pickup. We've already done some of the hard work here and removed the upper and lower shrouds of the steering column. This is done simply by removing a couple Torx bit screws uh, underneath and then a couple of them that hold the top piece together. Not too tough. We've also disconnected the battery because in order to remove the lock cylinder, we need to rotate the ignition into the crank position. And so we don't want the battery hooked up and the truck cranking over. I'm going to take my pick, insert it into the access hole on the top of the ignition lock cylinder housing. Rotate this to the crank position, insert my pick, and release the tab. We've now removed our previous lock cylinder. I'm going to take the new one with its new keys properly coated to it, insert it to the proper position, and I'm all done. It was that easy. Once we're all said and done, there's no theft relearn necessary. This is simply a mechanical component. All the theft components are in the housing here, which we're not accessing today. So we can put the new key in, hook up our battery, reinstall our covers, and the truck's good to go.